All right, in this video, I'm going to look at some examples related to the product rule. And the product rule, again, says if you have a function times another function, and we want to take the derivative, what we do is we take the derivative of one of the functions, multiply it by the original of the other, then we stick a plus sign in there, and then the function we took the derivative of the first time, we leave it alone, and then we take the derivative of the other function. Um, notice a couple things here. Uh, you know, multiplication and addition are commutative. So we can, you know, we could have done, um, you know, fg prime plus f prime g. Um, it doesn't really matter the order that you do these things, as long as you remember to take the derivative of one part, leave one alone, plus, and then you just kind of switch them out. So people, uh, you know, sometimes are worried about that a little bit. So here we're going to find the derivative of uh, a couple different functions, and we'll do these. Uh, maybe uh, one at a time here. So uh, in part a we have f of x equals x minus 2 uh, times x plus 3. Now normally what I would do to, before, if I were going to take the derivative of this function, I would actually probably multiply it out first, um, combine my like terms, and then take the derivative. But just to illustrate this product rule, so again the, bro the product rule says uh, take the derivative of one of these two factors, so I'm going to take the derivative of the x minus 2. Well, the derivative of 1x is just 1. The derivative of a constant is just 0, so I'm not even going to write it in there. And then we'll have the x plus 3, so we're leaving that part alone. And then we'll stick our plus sign in between there. And now we'll leave the x minus 2 alone. And then we'll take the derivative of x plus 3. Well, the derivative, again, a derivative of 1x is, is just 1. The derivative of plus 3 is just 0. So that would be our derivative. And I'm going to go ahead and combine these. We would get x plus 3 plus x plus, or excuse me, ooh, almost did it wrong. So we would get x plus 3 plus x minus 2. And when we combine those, we have x plus x, which is 2x. Positive 3 minus 2 will give us positive 1. And that's our derivative. Notice if you had distributed this out at the very beginning. Um, if you had distributed it out, we would have x times x, which is x squared. We would have a positive 3x, negative 2x, minus 6. So we would have x squared plus x minus 6 um, if we did the multiplication uh, first. Now if we just use our actual product rule, uh, well, the derivative of x squared is going to be 2x to the first. The derivative of positive 1x is just going to be positive 1. Uh, the derivative of negative 6 is just 0. So again, just illustrating, hey, you do get the same thing. Um, but again, just in this video, uh, just trying to illustrate the use of the product rule here a little bit. So, all right, I think I'm going to uh, do the other ones in separate videos, and we'll also talk about maybe trying to simplify these down and clean them up a little bit, because sometimes that can be pretty tedious.